This is Windows 11 24H2. Many install it just to see whether it works on Raspberry Pi 5 or not, but I wanted to see whether I can use it or not, and this is quite a different story. So if I want to use it, I also need some applications. This is Hardware Info 64. It's meant for classic PCs, but it seems to also work quite well on Raspberry Pi 5 with uh, Broadcom BCM2712 system on chip which has uh, four ARM Cortex-A76 cores, which we can see here. Uh, it also correctly determines the sizes of level 1 caches and the size of level 2 cache. It also determines the level of U, uh, the version of USC BIOS and the memory size. So, uh, the clock here is also correct. So. As you can see, we get a lot of data. What about other data that we can obtain from sensors? Uh, we can see that this is all okay, all okay, all okay. And here, what do we have here? We have temperature from hard disk. This is from hard disk. It's got temperature sensors, but th there are no information. There is no information about uh, Raspberry Pi 5s temperature core temperatures and so on unfortunately but okay it's a it's a good problem you can see a lot of information that you would i do not be able to see what about uh, using your raspberry pi as an office computer yeah why not uh, usually this libre office uh, which you can install from here you have to go to this link uh, because otherwise it would not be possible for you to install it from the official LibreOffice uh, web page. They don't publish this link, but anyway, all the versions are available for ARM architecture, 64 architecture from this website, always for every version and each version. So you can get it from here. Uh, LibreOffice would usually crash, but don't worry. Um, I'll send. I will, request, I will not send any kind of a, a report. But look at this. It's restarting in safe mode, and what I'm gonna do is to tell it um, not to use hardware accelerations. So I will just say, don't use hardware accelerations for graphics and afterwards it would work perfectly so this is all you have to do and you have you can use uh, drawing you can draw you can write texts you see so it's uh, pretty much equivalent um, to uh, any kind of Microsoft Office so if you go on we can uh, you would probably ask yourself whether you could program uh, your raspberry pi actually if you could program any kind of arduino projects the answer is yes of course you could you could program arduino projects and this is even better than with raspberry pi os because you can use the latest version which obviously works. It's 2, that's 3, that's 2. This is the latest version. And you can also install this module. This is uh, ESP module, you see. This is from Expressive Systems. And if you are going pro to, uh, to program ESP boards, uh, you can also install this module and it also works. So no problem at all. Uh, it's even better than in Raspberry Pi OS. So let's do it. Uh, start in normal mode. So we're gonna restart in normal mode. Okay. Um, discard all. Once recorded. Uh, uh, yes. So here we are. So we can write texts. Uh, we can make spreadsheets. Uh, we can uh, do whatever you want. I'll show you how fast it works. It works really well and you can save the document if you want to. You just go here and say save us. And 
what is also interesting is that it supports any kind of Microsoft Office formats. So if you don't want to pay a monthly or annual fee for using uh, Microsoft Office uh, 365, then just install this LibreOffice and you'll be able to use it. Maybe it's not the most reliable for now, but it seems to be working reasonably well. What about this one? <laughs> this one is interesting as well because you can make Windows applications or any kind of applications with it. This is Visual Studio uh, 2022. So I've taken an old application from my PC, from a classics PC, and I've put it here. I recompile it for ARM architecture, see here, and um, it works. It has no problems. I can see it starts normally. Uh, you can open, browse, whatever it does. It doesn't matter really, but it does work. It has an external library that I have also to recompile, and it also works. So it's a great application after all. What about this one? If you want uh, to edit pictures, uh, if you want to edit photos, this is GIMP. This is a uh, new image uh, manipulation program. It's a reasonably good manipulation program. And now, as you can see, you can use it with Raspberry Pi 5. OK, you can also install it on Linux, and, but why not? You can also install it on Windows. So it works perfectly, at least. And what about this one? This is another program. This is actually uh, Final 2X. Uh, this is meant. To, this is artificial intelligence tool that uh, enables you to increase uh, any kind of picture or photo resolution. So, thank you for listening. If you like the video, please press like and subscribe button and uh, don't uh, forget about the notification bell. See you soon in the next video.